I have said that it will take some time. I'll talk to my supporters and see what role I can play in public life. Well, that is for the opposition members to decide. It's not for me to impose myself or to declare. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, the usual to rest, yeah. take a longer sleep, sleep late, uh -huh. and then go out. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 是说我代表国家的良心 不是选一个政府支持跟支持的候选人，大多部分是给予不是政府的候选人的票，所以我看大部分的选民还是要呃这个总统来监督跟制衡政府。Well, I hope they will think that they will view me as someone with a strong message, strong heart, uh, and working for their hearts. Mr. Dan, can you ask what kind of vote share will you be happy with? <laughs> um, well, I 100%. <laughs> well, I... I I wish I had been given more time to explain to the people then, uh, to, so that I can have a better vote share. Which newspaper do you come from? Is there a youth newspaper in Singapore? I represent the youth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not any newspaper, I represent the youth. All right. um, just just yeah. to check, because uh, we actually a strong advocate of yeah. actually um, checks and balances of the governments. Is, uh, does that actually you know, mean that you actually advise young people like us to actually go for uh, more uh, balancing roles in the government? Well, I think not just the young, everyone should go for uh, something that will make the government work harder and better for Singaporeans and not take Singaporeans for granted. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. If there's anything you could change about what you've done throughout this campaign period, what would it be? Well, I wish for a longer period, a longer period to explain to the people and uh, better coverage in the media. Well, I think um, I think the media, one particular newspaper, has tried to paint me as confrontational uh, right up to the last days. So I think that is not the despite my trying to say that I am not. So, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> your daughter would like to tell you to do your hair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the thing. I'm not confrontational. Um, so, but it's the image that has been created. So. I have not gone out into the streets to wave my hands and throw stones, so... <laughs> but you have gotten a lot of support online, especially from... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that review. Uh, and yes, uh, I think I got a lot of support online, as you quite rightly put. I wish online penetration is higher, that more people would go online. But uh, obviously, obviously, uh, a lot of people do not go online. Do you think you did enough to reach out to the older population? 
I think some older old, older people are quite quite internet savvy, but not enough of them. So obviously, um, face and name recognitions are important to the old people. So that is why a longer period of exposure will help. Uh, for the older people, they are not only used to certain names, certain faces. So you, you mentioned about the longer period. Campaigning, I would assume. Yeah, yeah. How, how long do you think would be a good, a good time that you need? I think a period of three months would be reasonable so that we don't have to be so intense over a nine-day period. It's also better for you. As a media, you don't have to cover so intensely. You don't have to cover day, night, 24 hours. And then you spread out over three months. I think a lot of countries do that. Spread out over three months. And then you can scrutinize the candidates even better. Right? We talk about timing, but actually timing is fair to all candidates. Yeah. So apart from timing, I mean, what do you think actually causes your, your votes to be? I mean, there's a distance between you and the other two candidates. What, what do you think? You, either you did wrongly or you did something that is not enough. Yeah. Well, timing is really common to all, but some someone has got a better advantage because uh, of his uh, former, uh, because of what he has done. All right? So he has the natural advantage over us, the rest. But well, I think uh, maybe I should I be given a newspaper permit to start another newspaper. So if you talk about confrontation, do you think this confrontational image that has been painted on you cause you some of the yeah, I think those who do not know me would uh, normally just take it, you know. And uh, people are busy with their lives. In nine days, they cannot really know too much of a person. Okay, it's a bit late. Thank you. Have you had enough? <laughs> Message for my family. Well, thank. I thank my family for the support. They have been... Uh, every one of them, my wife, my children, have been very supportive. And even my siblings, my in-laws have been supportive as well. So it's a bigger family. Uh, without family support, I don't think I can get through so, 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 uh, such a long way. It's been only surviving on only about three, four hours of sleep a day. It's not easy. What things will change? General life. Uh, life in general, I think um, more people notice me now, so I, I, I cannot wear torn and tattered t-shirts <laughs> in the even in the neighborhood. The way you say something, just one sentence. One sentence. <laughs> Where are you from? Ambao. Ambao. <laughs> the whole media urge you. you. <laughs> Just one sentence right now. Yeah. You want to? I would like to say to him, well done. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much. I congratulate him. Uh, it's a good fight and I hope he will take into consideration the views of uh, Singaporeans and uh, the views that have expressed and be and not just be restricted to this the specific role of the president as specified in the Constitution but use his moral authority the, some people call it the soft powers to unite Singaporeans and to do positive things for Singaporeans because the veto power in five areas is a negative power. He should use the moral authority of the office to do positive things for Singaporeans and unite Singaporeans. And then we will have a better understanding, better appreciation of the office of the President. Okay. Right, on that note, thank you so much.